Bro, what? You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up the bat. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024 very important hey make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit the notification bell stay up to date with all the videos we back with another tiktok joint this one here is creepy though and scary i've been seeing some of the comments and this is one of those so you make it to the end of this one you a real one for real also i got a tiktok playlist man you can go through enjoy yourself binge watch them a lot of y'all be doing that and I be seeing that in the comments, man. So go through, sit back, get some popcorn. Or if you just need to pass some time, man, it's here for you. But Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Whoa. Whoa. Demonic possession. Caught on camera. I'm starting early. Is that her growling? The police is shook. What up? Paramedic. Oh. I ain't got no hoodie on either. Whoa. She is upstairs above us, something upstairs. If we swap our positions, maybe go out of the way and be careful. She has a wire of some sort. Oh, no. He closed that joint. Terrified by Kamilka's strange behavior, the police are unable to go inside and save her. So, as a final attempt to get her out, they head outside and place a ladder against the side of the room where she hides. This, however, did not go as expected. Hell no. Nah. I'll be like, yeah, this is my last night on duty. Come here. I can see. Don't crawl. Come down, your child. Oh. Hell no. That's it? Now you know that's a She bullshit. was kidnapped by an old lady in her village and found like that. It's terrifying. She was kidnapped and found like that. What? This not a real person. That's crazy. Nah, that's just crazy. Ain't even gonna lie to you.
Uh uh. This is gonna be a tough one. This is the scariest video on the internet. This is Joseph D'Angelo Jr. who is also known as the original Night Stalker. He is an American serial killer who is also formerly a police officer who has been indicted on at least 13 murders, 120 robberies, what? and over 50 assaults on women. What? Listen how crazy this is. He would break into a house, tie the couple up, and he would take the male victim, put plates on top of the male victim, and would tell him that if any plate dropped that he would kill both of them. So now the male victim is laying down on his stomach and obviously he's scared and shaking so eventually one of the plates are going to fall oh. anyway. Even creepy than that, if he found a woman that he wanted to assault, he would call the home phone before and after the incident took place. And the video you are going to hear is exactly that. This is from one of the victim's what? answering machines in the 1980s. <laughs> after listening to this, I can honestly say, What? Get a tissue. Don't yell like that. I was putting my hand by my nose, but I was well, picking First of all, don't raise your voice like that. That's right. That's inappropriate. And see, now the ghost is very upset. The ghost? Don't do that. He's smiling. <laughs> that, and there's no ghost in here. Well, that. I don't know. He said the ghost is upset. Whoa. <laughs> Bed. Her sister looking like what? Yeah. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I need you all to watch this terrifying video and then I'll explain what happened. I don't see nothing. A djinn is basically a form of demon that has been known to possess animals or humans. Hell no. What's terrifying is that you could see that the water sounded and looked like it actually hit something before falling to the ground. So even though we couldn't see it, we could hear it, and you could see that the water physically hit it. That's just wild to me. Uh. Follow me for more spooky content. I don't know if I've seen water hit nothing, honestly. If you were swallowed by a humpback whale, they don't really have traditional teeth like a shark, which means they probably wouldn't hurt you. And because this whale's throat is really small, there's really no way it could actually gulp you down. But if you did somehow manage to squeeze your way down its throat, you would find yourself stuck in the whale's stomach, which is not equipped for large prey. And eventually, the lack of oxygen and harmful gases would limit your chances of survival. If you swallow gum, they say it stays in your stomach for seven years. Yep. Apparently, the gum can't be digested and gets stuck in your body. But yep. this is only partially accurate. You see, it is true that your digestive system can't break down gum, but it doesn't get stuck and it still does move through your body. It just comes out whole and untouched, kind mm. of like corn. You know how you have to take out your laptop in airport security? I mean, everything else can stay in your bag, but your laptop or any device bigger than a phone has to be removed. Why is this? Well, it's because these larger devices have complicated components that are difficult for x-rays to see through. And this creates blind spots where people could theoretically hide weapons that go undetected. Mm. Hello? Is someone there? Yes, this is Officer Sarlow's Garden Place Department. Hi, what can there? I help you with? Yeah, are you there? Yeah, so, yes, I just chased the subject around your house, and I was making sure he wouldn't have came in here. Do you guys have any kids? No, we don't have any kids. And who, is there any younger adults that stay here? Uh, it's just me and my husband. We both work during the day. 
Okay. Do I need to come Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. No, you're fine. All right, well, if I'm you could check, see if, your cam- see if your camera picked up any motion. Um, okay, we're looking for a subject in a red one. t-shirt. Okay. Sure. Give me a second. Scary thing. He's in my trash can. He's in my trash can. He's in my dumpster in my Where's backyard. He's in my trash can by my garage. Oh my goodness. Because the cops are at my front door. There's a. Hey! Open that lid. That's it. Attempted the kidnapping caught on ring doorbell camera. Strange man following a girl home from school. This shit is crazy. Hello. Mom comes out. Yeah, I just want to say hi. How are you? What? Oh, you want me to stop this thing? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just having to stand here. These are the bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Paranormal activity. What's up with the baby? Joe, what he doing? What the GI Joe doing, man? Whoa! What the little thing? Dang, little buddy. Getting beat up by what is that? Where's his parents at? Nah, this look crazy. And this music is crazy in the headphones. CERN discovered a 4D ghost in their machine. These people just can't leave shit alone. Remember, a door swings in two different directions. These people be trying to open up a portal to get out. They forgot that they might be letting something in. A 4D ghost found in CERN particle accelerator. A 4D ghost? I mean, we are only in the 3D, so where did this 4D shit come from? Remember, our universe is a hologram or a simulation. The creator put firewalls to protect us and block us from other realities until mm. we are ready to go there. This is what CERN is trying to do. They're trying to crack these firewalls, open up a portal so they can leave. But the thing is, once you open these portals up, you can't close the door. But once the portal is open, everything can come on this planet. These scientists are so smart that they're this? really dumb. This is why all this spooky shit is now going on on the planet. We having clouds that look like UFO shit. People are seeing blobs in Antarctica. Now they are saying it's just a glitch. A glitch in the matrix. Let's get back to this 4D ghost for a moment. Did CERN let something in? Or is there a fourth dimensional entity trying to tell the scientists at CERN to leave this shit alone? This could be a warning 
from a fourth dimensional being that can understand what's going to take place if CERN keep this stuff up. This 4D ghost particle kind of remind me of the Netflix series, Three Body Problem. Remember in Three Body Problem, they tried to warn people to say, don't answer back. Because if you answer back, you're going to open up portals. And what did the people do? They answered back and what happened? They opened up a portal. People on this planet are so deep in their egos that they believe that the universe actually evolves around them. Not realizing there are other life forms in different realities, different dimensions, different realms. Some of these entities are way more powerful than us and they know more about the universe than us but we think we know everything. Just like people have firewalls on their computers to block out viruses, the universe was built the same way. If CERN really opened up these portals, they're gonna let in the virus and that virus is gonna take over everything because our planet don't know how to deal with it. Just like you have an immune system, the planet have an immune system. So if a certain virus come on this planet and our planet don't know what to do with it, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna take over. How does he know all this? How can he be so factual? This about man it? captured actual footage of what I can only describe as a demon. Hell On no. April of 2021, a man named Cody was alone in his house when strange things began to happen. Cody noticed the bathroom lights started to flicker and the sink was running. He turns the water off and as he's leaving the bathroom, he begins to feel uneasy, like if there's something else in the house that does not want him there. As he's moving away from the bathroom, he hears something behind him. Hell the bathroom nah. door had closed on him, and this is where Cody was truly freaked out. So Cody decided he would step outside the house and call his girlfriend to let her know what's been happening. She Broad tells him daylight. to stay outside, but he insists on recording the event. When he goes back inside, he finds his kitchen in total disarray. Wow. Here's where things truly get horrifying. Nope, nope, nope. After two hours, Cody finally musters up the courage to go two back hours. inside the house. After inspecting every room, every closet, underneath every bed, Cody could not find anyone. So he thought, after closely inspecting his footage, he found something in his daughter's room that had been watching him. Whoa. Whoa. I can feel my face, all the blood, my no. face ran. I mean, it just... No, no. It scared me. It just looked no. like somebody watching me. Hell. I, I wouldn't sleep for a month straight. What you talking about? Oh. What? Ghost straight drop kicked her. Wow. No way. No way. No way, man. Dang, she ran out of there. What are you on his? She looking like. Uh-uh. No way. The following video shows a couple who are getting ready for bed. <sighs> when something oh, downright terrifying is caught on camera. Oh, man. The footage comes from an indoor home security camera that this the couple had installed crazy. inside their bedroom. After the chilling events of that night, they sent this video to a friend who looked it over and concluded that what happened in their home is beyond explanation. Needless to say, the friend had found the video to be disturbing. At the start of the clip, we can see both partners doing their nightly routine. Once at the foot of the bed, while the other is inside the bathroom. Then, minutes later, the partner who is inside the bathroom joins the other in bed. It isn't until seconds later that we see both partners fully in bed. However, it is at this moment that something disturbing is caught on camera. This is what was caught. What? Looking back at all of it. Perfectly happy, it all happened so fast. He said the room got cold after turning the lights off. He felt very cold. No way. The sheet suddenly pulls itself off the bed. The man then proceeds to check the bathroom. When all of a sudden, he's attacked by something. No way. The woman is also attacked by an unseen force. They then leave the room at once and promptly run to the front door.
But then something else happens that has left the couple even more disturbed than before. Take a look. Where you just got beat up by a ghost? No sé, no sé. Mira, 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 mira. Whoa. Whoa. Hell nah, bro. No. Put it to the living room. Dang, they look like they got beat up bad. Oh. Bro, you got to move faster than that. Oh no, you got to move, boy. Uh uh. Damn. How long it take to get out the house? He ain't even close the door. He left the door open. Whoa. Nah. Nah. It's unclear as to whether or not the couple had returned home, but given what occurred, viewers think it's best if they stay somewhere else until it's safe to return. Duh. Now as for the footage, one could say that the use of strings had helped pull this off, but because there's so much going on in this video, viewers believe that something other than strings had caused this. Mm. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Jeez, too much going on for me. My daughter was pulled back by something or someone. She beatboxing. She beatboxing, yo. What you doing? Sound like they farting. <laughs> Whoa. This stuff. Wait for a real ghost. Oh hell no! Nah. Did you see it? Something was in the closet, right? I got chills, bro. Let's look at that part again. I got chills. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, where my hoodie at? This man was walking back from fishing when he captured this on video. Yo, what the? F oh, snap. In the man's bathroom. What the? Let me back up for some dumb shit happen, man. Bro. There's nobody in here. Something stupid about to happen. Yo. Something stupid about to happen. <laughs> Get up here. Get away from him. Come on, guys. The hell is there following him? You okay? Kids. Kids, you get up here now and you get away from that floating, <laughs> that floating <laughs> demon in the woods now. Come on, your mom's making hamburger helper.
<laughs> now, kids, I'm telling you to, to, to leave that demon alone. He don't want to play with you. He wants to consume your soul. Now, get up here, kids, before I miss the new episode of Big Brother. Hamburger Helper. <clears throat> this is, by far, one of the most convincing paranormal videos I have ever seen by a very clearly concerned <laughs> father. <laughs> But you know what? They are from West Virginia. And what small child in West Virginia has not been taught the ways of dealing with demons in the woods? Even if it's a demon being pulled along by a string. <laughs> <laughs> Need to work there, huh? I see your angle. Mandy Boswick and her two children, Jonah and Johnny, live in a remote area somewhere in Massachusetts. It wasn't too long ago that Mandy and her family had moved into their new house. This one, unlike their previous Whoa. home, is surrounded by plenty of wildlife. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Oh, look at them. For this reason, Mandy had set up cameras around her home to capture all the wild animals that trespass on her property. From bears to bobcats, Mandy has seen it all. Mm -mm. However, out of all the footage captured, one has left her on edge. This one doesn't capture an animal, but rather something else. On July 17 of 2022, at around 9 p.m., Mandy is away from home when she gets a notification of movement detected on her property. She immediately looks at her camera's live feed via her phone and is left completely disturbed. This is what she saw. Creepy figure captured on video. Let me back up. I don't trust none of these, yo. Just keeping it a hundred. trust is I don't trust it they ain't about to jump scare me out my seat that joint zoom is crazy Where's the movement? There appears to be someone or something standing a few feet away from Mandy's home. It stands there, seemingly observing her house from far away, as though trying its best to not get caught. Where? But even more strange is the way it moves. Where? There's something in its movement that's just very uncanny. Whoever, Where? or whatever this is, has left Mandy concerned for the safety of her children, more so than the animals on her property. Given that Mandy lives in a secluded area I with no one else around, viewers believe that someone or something is watching her. But like always, I'll let you decide as to whether or not something paranormal was captured. I ain't like seen nothing. Like most videos, this one remains a mystery. I ain't even seen nothing. If you've seen it in the comments, let me know. I ain't seen nothing. This next video was posted by Athelaine Sevilla who received footage of a chilling incident that took place in a foreign country. The footage shows a group of people standing on the street when they see something that terrifies them. Mm. We have no idea as to what they're seeing, but whatever it is, it seems to be very unsettling. It isn't until we see the footage from a different angle that we notice what it was that terrified them. What? This is what they saw. Be sure to look closely for this one or you'll miss it. I missed the last one. But he turned the, the bike off then with. Whoa. What the hell was that? Whoa. Whoa. Somehow, a bicycle appears to have come out of nowhere as soon as the person on the motorcycle parks his vehicle. Now, some people think that the silhouette seen here might be a spirit of some sort. But this may be somebody whose figure is being distorted due to the camera's quality. What seems to be unexplainable is the bicycle that appears out of thin air. Where exactly did it come from? Right. 
viewers can't help but think that this might be a physical manifestation of an entity. But as always, it's up to you to decide if that's the case. As with all videos, this one remains a mystery. That was weird. Bro, what? <laughs> Man, get out of here. That joint turned to look. Oh! If that joint was a turn and look at you. Where did it go? I'm gonna back up again because I don't trust. That looked like it was fake though. I got a hold of the never before seen McKimmy Manor footage. Stuck that can't show. <laughs> this footage shows what really goes on inside the world's scariest haunted house. What? It's the stuff the owner doesn't want anyone to see. I ain't never gonna have to play this for anybody but just being Holly, but <laughs> now that we have all of the raw footage of what really happens here, we're gonna work Whoa. with law enforcement to shut this place down. The this moment I opened the raw footage, I this is a real place. This is a real place they talking about. I would assume I've never heard of this place. If y'all heard of it, let me know in the comments. But they trying to shut it down. Understood what everyone was warning me about. Like I'm telling you, man, when you get that hard drive, you're gonna like you're gonna understand completely why there's like, man, I got this in the palm of my hand, but what the f can I do? When you open it and you see it, you're gonna understand. Yeah, now I understand. But screw it, I'm gonna show you guys anyways. So let's start all the way back at the beginning. Okay. Uh, footage starts with a full walkthrough of McKamey Manor. Now here in the garage where all the haunted house stuff was, which is very expensive stuff. And you get to see the movie magic behind all of Russ's videos. On one hand, you have people freaking out because of the scary saw, which in reality is just plastic. Or these scary snakes, which are also just plastic. Or this contraption, which is literally just a chair. The only other part of the haunted house is this water tank these cages, and a bunch of Halloween props just taking up space in the backyard. To be honest, when I watch this footage, I don't see the scariest haunted house in the world. Right. I barely even see a haunted house at all. Right. So then why does everyone who shows up get so scared? I just lost all sense of re re reality right now. Whoa. Why, is it is that scary here? Like, I, I just lost all sense of reality. This looks crazy as hell. I think I just died, dude. Are you okay? I don't know. You're gonna be doing bungee jumping, zip line, and do a lot of height stunts where you're jumping platforms. But the photos on Russ's hard drive show that all of these stunts are photoshopped. So Russ is using these stunts as a cover for what's really going on. Oh. He doesn't want anyone to find out the truth. Whatever Russ is hiding gets so bad that it actually made all of McKinney Manor's actors turn on Russ and quit. Wow. We are no longer in any way, shape, or form affiliated with McKinney Manor. I don't want to be any anywhere near that. I don't want to be a part of it. It's not safe. Without Whoa. Russ's actors doing these mystery things to the contestants, McKinney Manor barely passes as a haunted house. I mean, the next contestant's gonna show up, easily walk through it without getting scared, and win the $20,000. So, at this 20, point, though? Russ is pretty desperate. Hey everybody, it's Russ. I need your help. No, I'm trying to get... Hey everybody, it's Russ. I'm McKinney Manor. I need your help. But Russ decided to make his situation even worse. He cheated on his girlfriend, so she left him. And she took with her all the props she bought from McKinney Manor, which Damn. was all of them, leaving him with literally nothing i was totally robbed totally part of the ex-actors etc russ thinks his ex-actors stole all his stuff for revenge for what he made them do inside the haunted house mm. so now he's angry at them but before he could retaliate he ran into financial trouble because his girlfriend's gone now and he couldn't afford his house so he had to sell it and move to a cheaper location mm. we are going to tennessee what are you doing if you thought McKimmy Manor was a below average haunted house before, 
Well, now he literally has nothing. And this is where the footage gets dark. Oh. Oh. So he had convinced me that the manor was about to be shut down and it was dying and like nothing was going to work anymore. But he convinced me that I needed to go back out to like save the manor. So first he told his audience that Marissa is about to go through a challenging underwater swim. So now he needs a massive reaction for when she gets out. Desperate to capture it, he ties her down and pepper sprays her. What? All Russ needs now to complete the shot is a little bit more movie magic. Now, everyone watching the YouTube video thinks she just came out of the scariest underwater haunted house ever. And because Pepper Russ spray. was able to capture such a crazy reaction, his video went viral. At this point, Marissa realizes that this isn't what she agreed to fly to Tennessee for, so she's begging for them to let her go just so she can wipe off her face. Pepper please spray. wipe my face, please, somebody. Please, Russ, please. I need, I need you to wipe off my face. But Russ only cares about one thing, capturing a viral reaction for his video. Well. Please, please. Please, somebody wipe my face, please. This is crazy. It's pretty clear that Marissa's over this. She wants to leave, but if Russ lets her go, then his video ends. I'll put a lot of work into this, okay? I want to make a good movie with you, right? We're going to do, do some very light, entertaining things, okay? I'm going to give you one more <laughs> no. try. So completely against her consent, Rush shaved her head. What? Let it go. Let it out. Let it go. What? Let it go. Getting my head shaved really sucked. Really, what? really sucked. If I had been in control of that, or if I had done that, like, for charity, it would have been one thing, but, like, I went through that just so he could have like 10 minutes of gratification online again. Wow. But this is where the footage gets really dark. Bro, what is up with this dude? I do not want to continue. I do not want to continue. All right, a little bit lower. Here we go. No. <laughs> The only thing Russ needs now is a clip to end his YouTube video to cover up everything that really happened here. Were you entertained when you were here? Extremely entertained. And this is just one video out of thousands. The next what? video in the timeline gets even worse. You see, a week later, Russ tried to do another fake production, and this footage is under a folder called Rhett. So tell the folks who you are, and you can use your character's name and what you're doing. I'm Rhett Silvis. As you can see, Rhett is not this guy's real name. He's a fake character pretending to go through McKimmy Manor. Mm. He told me that Russ told him to do this because Russ wanted to show his subscribers a tough manly guy going through McKimmy Manor because that would go super viral. I was supposed to be his actor. He's like, yeah, we're gonna, but we're gonna amp you up and say that you had the hardest experience and you know, we're gonna make you go through the longest, like for business wise, for publicity, right? So they came up with the character of Rhett, which is a stupid tough guy with a thick country accent. I'm going through McCain Manor. I'm gonna do my damnedest, that's all I know. Look at him, look at him, he's a big boy. You gotta initial every paragraph. Well, what if I can't read? So we signed a fake contract for the cameras, and I say it's a fake contract because he signed it as Rhett Silvis, his character's name. It's not a legal contract. In reality, it's just a movie prop. But right before they drove to the next location, Russ decided to break character for a second. You're not gonna talk about what happens whatsoever to anybody, even Chris. You don't tell nobody what is gonna about to take place. It's top secret. So it was time for them to drive to McKamey Manor. We're just getting to the zone. Once we get to the zone in the first stunt, that's when your tour starts. This happened to be taking you a little bit quicker, that's all. Man, hell no, nah, I wouldn't trust this. Jennifer dude. is home alone with her children when she hears her daughter saying this. Hey, hey. Say hi. Say to you. Say hey, hey. Say she can see hey, you. Hi, Hey, Hey, Gold. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Say hi, ghost. Saying hi to mm -hmm. the ghost? What happened? Go boo boo. Ghost has a boo boo? Mm-hmm. What's it? 
Or does he need a bandage? Fix it. Okay. Curious, she points her phone's camera toward the corner of the room, and using the ghost filter, this is what she captures. Ghost filter? They got a ghost filter? You can catch a ghost on them? Prior to and since this post, Jennifer has not posted any paranormal content whatsoever, and many people are saying that they truly do believe that her daughter was seeing something she a could not. Ghost My filter. niece used to claim that a coyote would come and speak to her in the middle of the night through her bedroom window. I asked her about this recently. She said that the coyote would stand on two feet. If you're a mother, I want to know if you've had any experiences like this with your children. And as a parent, what do you believe? See hi, ghost. Saying hi to the ghost? What happened? Go woo woo. Ghost has a boo boo? Ghost filter. Uh, a woman is home alone when this is captured. I was home alone filming a vlog about the house we just bought when this happens. Is she pregnant? She's like, what the hell? Raw daylight. Um. What? How did you? <laughs> is that her dog? How did you get out there? I guess it is. He looking like help. Okay, let's try this again. A few minutes later. There's no way that this is a thing. I don't think you understand. There is zero way that she could <coughs> unlock that, open it, shut it, and lock it. After moving into her new home, Sierra Miss began to realize that something wasn't right. Well, again, and I am hearing noises. noises again, and it's kind of freaking me out. So I am making this video just in case. And they just bought the house. Anything ice, because you know I'm pregnant. Like that was, was a real. That's not a different than the noise. That, that was a real house. reaction right there. What? Look. Now I know you didn't do that. What's up with the dog? That was right there. <gasps> I don't understand. This door was literally just open. After the strange phenomena, she continues to set up her home over the next few days, and the following events are captured. I was home alone for a moment. I swear, if this is happening again, I, I... Let me show you. And yes, these windows are open, but let me show you this. See that? This isn't. Bruh. After a ton of comments suggesting she set up cameras, she does exactly that. Following oh, events sir. captured as her fiance and sister were setting up one of the rooms. Oh. My sister and fiance were trying to pay for a nursery when this happens. No. What was that? No. Y'all gotta move. You gotta sell that. And don't say nothing about the ghost in there, just sell it. What? Did the paper come up by itself? She now says that she, her husband, and her sister all became believers of the paranormal overnight. Mm. What do you believe? Oh nah, that, what was that? <laughs> I don't know that what looked crazy. Ghost problem is, but I'm watching you. Nah, nah. She 
Gina is home alone when she hears somebody in the attic of her house. The creepiest thing ever just happened and I'm home alone. So I just get home from Target and I'm coming in the door to like bring in my groceries. And I'm on the phone with my grandma. My husband is at work and I'm like putting everything away and whatever. And I hear like boom, 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 like three loud booms. My heart is like racing. I literally just did like a whole scope through of my house. So I hear these loud booms and my grandma on the phone my elderly grandma, who like already doesn't hear well, she goes, what was that? Mm. And I'm frozen. She explains that her and her husband arrived home from being out of the country after her and her grandmother both hear the mysterious bang, search the home, and what she found made the hair on the back of her neck stand up. And she's like, is Hunter home? Which is my husband. And I'm like, no. And she's like, it's okay, because I'm, I'm going like this. I'm going, uh, uh, because I'm scared. I'm terrified. Well, maybe it's the cats, because I have two cats. And I look next to me, and both my cats are there. So, and she's like, mm. well, maybe it's someone outside. Like, you know, I was like, no, like, it sounded like something fell. And she's like, yeah, it did sound like something fell. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I'll stay on the phone with you, but take your time and look through things, because I'm sure a book or, like, something fell. I look again, and that's really what got me. I'm so scared. I just got my husband crying. I open up our hallway closet. I'm gonna show you guys. And the attic latch is wide open, okay? Whoa. It's open. And I yell on the phone with my grandma. Grandma, the attic is open. As soon as I'm yelling that, it goes boom and it shuts. Like all the what? way. Shut. Like is someone living up there? Like this is my hallway. It's a mess back there because we literally just got back from another country. But this is like our closet and that is the attic door and that's what was like slid open thinking that there was possibly an intruder in her home gina's grandparents who were nearby rushed to her aid and upon searching the attic they found nothing what's even more disturbing is that gina's grandfather said that there was no way a person could be up there because there were no floorboards commenters pointed out wow. that hearing three knocks is not a good sign seeing or hearing events represented in threes is considered a mockery of the holy trinity widely believed by many to be the sign of a demon. Although Gina now thinks that this could have been the soul of the former resident who died in the house. What? Many commenters believe otherwise. What do you believe? I'm not really I'm not, sure. My grandpa looked up there. He didn't. I'm not buying no house with somebody that passed away, bro. No. He like go all the way up there, but he like took the top off and like looked up there with a flashlight and he literally said nothing is up there. But like literally no person, like nothing. And he said that the floor is not like hard. It's basically that the floor is like all insulation. So nothing could or should be like making loud noises up there my house is haunted like the previous owner died here so Hell we checked no. the whole house we checked the whole basement he went outside he checked the roof to see if a branch or something had fallen on the roof like you guys said nothing nothing he opened up the attic um we use our phones for like flashlights or whatever so we could see everything um he did not like crawl around the attic however you can literally see like all around us and there's like it is the cleanest thing like it's there's not even an animal up there like hell no the way that i was upset and crying like he totally believes that someone was here there's like literally no sign of someone so i think our house is just too haunted for me you got to move sell that joint too got yeah. to. <laughs> Lizzie, who are you playing with Lizzie, come here I remember this joint. What's going on? Who's over there? Who's over there? Tell Little me. Man. Baby, baby. The baby's sleeping. Oh no. He a soldier. Oh no. Uh oh. Who's sleeping? Ooh. Hey, hon. Hey, hon. Come here. Hell no. Nah. Look. <laughs> mm. I don't think it's just down here. Look at that. This is the most active during the day that I've... Oh, there goes the Xbox, too. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not liking this. He wants to play the oh, game? Oh, wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Ooh, stop it. 
I'm not liking this. Whoa. Hun, let's go to dinner or something for a while. Time to what? He's not catching ball with you? Yeah. You need the someone to play ball? Hell no. Nah. He said, he said, hey, I'm about to, uh-uh. He said. Do you think there's anyone there just now? Yeah. I do. Who's that? What? Who's that, Janet? Pardon? Stuart Certain. Stuart Certain, and he's one of the voices? Yeah. Why do you think he comes? and speaks through you. To noise, to a noise. Does he ever say anything nice? Don't know really. Shall we Says... try and speak to him? No. We'll see if he'll speak to us. No, no, no. This movie was crazy. Yeah. Is anybody there? No, no. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Those choices here. What the heck? Whoa. What is that? What's happening? What is that? No. What is this? With the baby? Why the baby like he got a go to? Damn, she <laughs> Can you stop? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. She ain't even see it. Whoa! <laughs> the baby in there by itself? Or are you on his mama? Oh. oh no. Uh uh. Come on, my style. Come on. What the hell? Get out! My God! No way. What was that? Hello? The door just hello? opened? She said hello. Who is it? Who is it? Whoa. Oh my god. Come on. I just get out of the house. Get out of the house. So someone commented in one of my videos, like the bronzer highlighter I use, and I use the Milani 05 Soleil. So I'm trying to not. Oh. Whoa. No. Um. <laughs> oh. I think I've seen this one. She closed it, then it opened again or something. Que quiere? This stuff is crazy.
this stuff is crazy. Nah, jadi kalau ada pergerakan atau ada apa itu bisa terlihat. Aduh sayangnya, Imam nggak ini ya. Saya ini Imam nggak ikut. Kalau ikut ini bakal keren banget. Oke teman-teman, jadi matiin ini. Kan dia tengah bobok di sini. Samping basah. Dia ini matiin lampunya. Oke kelihatan ya. Karena ini mantonya dari sini dari handphone. Wow. Hmm, jadi ini rencananya sampai baterainya mati ya nanti nggak tahu <tuh> bakal ada fenomena apa yang kita temuin. Udah jelas lah ya semoga aja. Oke teman-teman kita tidur. Right, what is going on here? Yeah, Kurang ke bawah nggak ya? What is going on? Are we trying to record this? Wow! Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Tapi hawanya nggak tahu deh teman-teman. Apa karena memang ini baru pertama kali tidur di sini jadi? Uh, suasananya lumayan mencekam. Oke lah, kita bobo. Ini biarkan dia merekam sampai pagi. See nothing happen. Bro, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? The hell is that peeking through? I'm over here tripping my damn self. Was that in the video or what the fuck? Siapa? Oh, perempuan. Mani-mani di sini. Mani-mani di sini. Untuk apa kamu? Kamu sudah meninggal di sini. Untuk apa? Kamu kan bukan orang. Where are you going? Tidak. Di sini. Ini kan tempat nak kubur sah. Kalau enggak berak, enggak keluar. Hey, bung, bung, bung tak. Ada orang perempuan tu. Kamu kan orang baik. Wow. Bagaimana sih? Ada orang. Orang mana pak? Orang perempuan. Enggak, enggak ku saya. Bagaimana sih? <coughs> kamu kalau nggak keluar mau berani dengan saya saya Real mau sinar. berani dengan dia soalnya begini mau apa mau apa saya silakan ini kan orang susah kubur saya umat begini lama lama begini orang perempuan saya kan orang budak tapi kan nggak gini dia lah orang perempuan begitu bagaimana mas sana apa tidak nggak ada apa apa saya nggak lihat pak oh ini perempuan itu itu Serius pak? Serius? Itu? Kamu nggak lihat? Nggak kelihatan. Lihat? 
itu bisa berlan kalau mau keluar begini nih ayo iya oh, tahanan right. saya kamu pop 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 pak udah kok nggak ada saya nggak bisa lihat itu 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 aduh udah keluar yang kalau gay ini They got me thinking some knocking on this shit. Uh uh, no, y'all ain't about to hell. Not me. Not me, buddy. Hell no. Shit. Why? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh man. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimat Allah at-tamat min sharri ma khalaq. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi bihawl ni. Is he disappearing or something? What the hell is that? What is that? Your window up? What the fuck? Why he didn't roll his window up, man? What is that? A moose? He's stuck in a car. The clip I just showed you was from the final video that Jacob Cockle ever recorded. Jacob was a famous surfer, a social media presence, a nature photographer, he did a lot, and he was a beloved figure in England. Before his death, Jacob's videos had garnered hundreds of thousands, millions of views on social media. And he was known not only for his love of the sea and his breathtaking photography, but for engaging in high-risk stunts. Stunts where he surfed over rocks or towards cliffs. Stunts where he jumped off of high buildings into the water below. And by his early 20s, Jacob had earned awards from places like National Geographic. He really was a beloved figure. But on May 28, 2013, Jacob's life would come to an extremely unfortunate end. On that day, a whirlpool appeared in Hale Harbor in England. This whirlpool would appear randomly in this harbor, and in the past, Jacob took tons of videos and photos of it and even swam in it. But on May 28, 2013, when Jacob jumped into the whirlpool wearing a horse mask, he had no idea of what was about to happen. In the footage, Jacob can be seen whirling around the whirlpool while his friend films him. They're talking about how it was stronger earlier, how it's a little scary right now, but it's nothing they can't handle. 
And at one point, Jacob swims out of the whirlpool, he grabs his GoPro, and he decides to get one shot of the nature event from underwater. Mm. Jacob then dives underwater and begins filming the whirlpool. This footage is all on YouTube. As he approaches the whirlpool, viewers notice that it's very strong, but it doesn't really look like something he can't handle, especially given the fact that he'd swam in similar circumstances many, many times. But at one point in the footage, Jacob seems to lose control, and the camera work starts going all over the place. And back on the surface, Jacob's friend noticed that he went underwater, but he never came back up. Mm. Jacob's friend then frantically began to shout his name, searching for his body, but he saw no sign of Jacob anywhere. The whirlpool flowed through a tunnel into a pool, and Jacob's friend David then ran over there and started asking fishermen if they'd seen his friend. They all said no, they hadn't. Mm. Eventually, though, David saw Jacob in the pool. He was face down in the water, and he knew it was already too late. During his swim into the whirlpool, Jacob's wetsuit lost its buoyancy, which was something that Jacob didn't really account for, and that's what ended up helping him get sucked down into the whirlpool. Mm. After his death, Jacob was celebrated across the world, but I do have to say the footage of this incident is extremely chilling. If you want to hear more true crime stories, listen to the podcast that I co-host with my wife, Murder in America, available on all streaming platforms. Mm. Guys, watch this video. There's literally a patient in the hospital that's like possessed, freaking out on the bed. And there's another one. Look at this one. Look how weird this one is. There's a patient right there, and you can see how it's like, like kind of possessed in a way. But then, watch what happens. Watch, watch. You see that? Watch, watch, watch. Mm -mm. Bro, what? I don't have a dog. Bro, if you don't have a dog, why is a dog in your house? Um, dog. let me see. I'll know if she's my dog. Hey. Merlin, sit. Turn around. Turn around. Lay down. You're not my dog. My dog don't know how to do no fucking trick. Uh-uh. The fuck? Call 911. Wow. Hey! The scariest thing I've ever seen caught on camera, this lady and her daughter who's coming up the stairs are going into their apartment when all of a sudden you're going to see her looking up into the camera. She opens the door. There's her daughter. And all of a sudden this man is going to come out of nowhere, grab her and take her into the house. This is absolutely horrifying. A parent's worst nightmare grabs the child and goes in. He slams the door behind and after a few hours, he comes out in the middle of the night. The camera catches him. Fortunately, they catch and arrest this guy. Follow for more. Real zombie caught on camera. Oh, <laughs> 
right, that was scary TikToks. Hey, I thought something was knocking on my window. And that ain't even possible. If you made it to this, I can't even talk. If you made it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. You need to drop that in the comments. Share this with somebody. Share this with somebody who you know is going to be freaked out because this was crazy. Also, man, go through the playlist. This was probably the scariest one, though. Until next time, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you and you know it. Hey, poof.